guys, I'm doing another stuff that I got, and, uh, dear god, dear god, I got too much. <laughs> I have to admit, I did get a lot of stuff, but most of it, I got it for a good deal. So, uh, next month, I'll, I guess I could do another no buying challenge thing, because I'm saving up for the Wii U, but I might just not even do it. I'm... I might just go and buy, you know, little cheap things here and there, but it's not going to be a, a total waste. But I am saving up for the Wii U, so that's my one thing that I'm extremely committed to. I was just about to buy SSX for the PS3 for $20, but with that $20, it's going to hurt the Wii U fun. So I said, nope, staying really, really, really committed to that thing. So with all this stuff, I got it for a really good deal for most of it. So yeah, first up is a DS game. And plus, this is a really, really, really fun uh, game. Uh, it's on multiple platforms. It's on Xbox Live, uh, DS, it's on the PlayStation Portable, and uh, some other platforms. Uh, just search it up on Google or whatever, and you should come up with a Wikipedia page. I got Super Mario World for like $3. Amazing deal. Uh, this this dust sleeve was extremely, extremely yellow. It was extremely yellow, but I cleaned it, and, uh, it was all black. But I cleaned it, and it works, and, uh, I suck at old-school Mario games, but still having somewhat fun, I guess. Uh, Legendary Starfy, uh, it's a Kirby game. Yeah, well, it's not a Kirby game, but it's, like, a Kirby ripoff, I guess you could say that. And, uh, yeah. That's all I have to say. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Attack, and now that uh, the uh, premiere of the new cartoon series, which is really good in my opinion, I think everyone should check it out. Uh, but yeah, uh, Arcade Attack, I did not pay a penny for this because my friend actually gave it to me. Thank you, Damien, Shadow Destroyer 65. And um, he gave it to me for one reason, is because uh, he knew that I really wanted this game and it's really expensive, so I guess he just gave it to me. And uh, really nice of him to do that. I owe him one. And, uh, yeah. Next game is Pilot Wings Resort. Up. Oh, wait, before we even get to that, uh, I got the uh, 3DS XL for like $80 with warranty and everything. And, uh, it's really good. If you guys want to check out my review, I will put a annotation and a link in the description, I guess. Pilot Wings, I got this for free with the purchase of the 3DS XL. This was, was the last one there, and, uh, it was GameStop's new, quote-unquote. And, uh, the guy... At the guy actually explained, okay, so we just opened the games and go and put them on display. I'm like, why don't you just... And also, like, when he put it inside of the, uh, sleeve things, like, the manual got bent, so, whatever. But, yeah, everything's in there, and, uh, it's a little fun game to go and show off what the 3DS could do. So, yeah, the thing that I got it for zero dollars, good deal. Next game is the Ratchet and Clank Collection. To be honest, I would rather pick up the original P PS2 versions for one reason, is because they're a lot cheaper and the graphics don't have problems. Like, this game has a lot of graphic problems. Uh, you could go and search up a video on YouTube, uh, glitches, problems, whatever you want to type in, Ratchet and Clank Collection, problems, glitches, whatever you want to say. And uh, you will come up with some videos because this game has a lot of graphic problems and uh, the uh, cutscenes sometimes they're in HD and sometimes they're in standard definition. I could actually tell because there's like black lines, uh, black lines going across my TV. So yes, they kind of went lazy and uh, this is probably the worst HD collection I own so far. But still, uh, the gameplay still still remains intact and it's fun and. Uh, yeah, I'm on Ratchet & Clank too, so, yeah. Next one is the Kirby Collection. You know, the only reason I got it was because of Jimmy's review, and I will put a link in the description and a annotation, along with my unboxing of this. And, uh, this thing is sold out everywhere, and I found this at Toys R Us. Luckily, they had a bunch of copies there, so... Yeah, really, really happy. $40, it was kind of worth it, now that uh, this might be even more now so yeah good thing i got it when it was still available next game is pikmin pikmin one uh it's not complete but it's in there and uh yeah gamestop yeah next game is pikmin 2 uh the only reason i got this was because uh this game was actually turning out pretty rare uh this game's actually going for a pretty hefty amount i, I got my copy at uh, target this game's really fun. 
it's uh but i am using checker conway's let's play just in case if i get lost so yeah and uh i'm jumping between these two games and uh now i'm mainly focusing on this one before i go any further with this one so yeah uh here we got is fling smash uh i think i paid like five dollars or something like that so yeah really good deal really really fun game uh but you do need the wii motion plus which uh I was forced to use my Zelda controller, which I did not really want to use it because uh, I like to use it for Skyward Sword, and I'm a nerd like that, and I only use it for that game. So yeah, but yeah, it's a fun game. Haven't got much into it because I've uh, been jumping around all these games that I got here. So uh, yeah, I got a two Game Boy Color handheld. I uh, got these for like five bucks each or something like that. Really good deal. Uh, this one actually. These two actually do power on, but uh, for some reason this one has sound and this one doesn't, but, what, but when you plug in your headphones, you could actually hear, so I guess this one I could use when uh, I actually want to hear it, and this one I could use when I'm at home or whatever, but yeah. Next thing is a Kinect's Toad. His legs are right here, and uh, yeah. I assembled it, and uh, I hate these stickers. I wish they were... I wish they didn't even have stickers and just had the thing decaled onto this thing, but I guess that's how the way they do it. But, yeah, it's a little set. Really cheap. And uh, I got scammed out of $10, and I got three Yoshis, and, uh, yeah. Probably give one to a friend or something, but, really, I do not need three Yoshis. I do not need three Yoshis. Uh, let's move my camera up a bit. Uh, I got this hat from Nintendo News by me because I won this contest. I will put a annotation and a link in the, the description to my unboxing of it. So, yeah. I have a lot of annotations and things to put. Uh, Star Fox 64 3D uh, Power Up Rewards thing that I got. The, these things were deeply, really, really, really scratched, and I'm really sad about it. But still, it's really nice, really cool. And uh, another link in annotation to the unboxing of that. And uh, I got a pack of Pokemon Dragons Exalted. And and when I opened it, I was like, come on, a hollow, come on. And then let me just go and show you what I got exactly, okay? Because, uh, let's just say this is the main reason why I stopped Pokemon, okay? I got a Phoebus, Shfeel, a Drifloon, a Mur Murkrow, Yama. Oh look, Ampipom. Oh look, it's the same damn card. Oh my god! Uh, Zoilus, at least I got a dragon type. Uh, Skuntank and Audino. And no, you can't have that uh, code thing. It's mine. It's mine. And uh, that's probably the main reason why I stopped was because I have the worst luck ever. And uh, that's that's what exactly happened with uh, Dark Explorers. I got a rare... Or, or a uh, reverse rare in that the rare was the same card, so yeah, that's probably the main reason why I stopped collecting. Uh -huh. But yeah, uh, Zelda keychain just for collecting reasons and stuff, and yeah. Okay, we got uh, comic books, we got Sonic Universe number 43 and Mega Man 16. I don't know what happened to the main Sonic the Hedgehog series. I guess my Barnes and Nobles, Bands and Nobles, Barnes, whatever you want to call it. I guess he stopped carrying it, but whatever. I went to my uh, GameStop, well, not my local GameStop, but I went to a GameStop and I asked them, can I get the uh, physical copies because I have not been getting Game Informer's physical form. The guy put it on digital and I did not know that. So I got this one, don't really care about it, but I did get the Mario one, which is really awesome. Really awesome. I got the Mario one, and uh, yeah. So I am hoping that I get the physical copies, and uh, because I sent in a request to GameInformer.com, switching from digital to my physical copies, and yeah. I got, I got the Nintendo Power, just because it was for Black and White 2, and uh, I am getting Black 2, so yeah. And, uh, yeah, Nintendo Power. I got the, uh, Ninja Turtle figures. As you guys can see, they had a sale at Toys R Us. Buy two, get one free. So, I got Donatello. 
his eyes are crossed, which sucks. Which happened with all of the Donatellos that were there, so... Yeah, sucks. We got Leonardo, my favorite turtle out of the bunch. He looks really awesome. And the main reason why I got these is because I do not have any classic Ninja Turtle figures, and these have the best articulation. And uh, people have said that these are the, the define for the 80s cartoon turtles. And then we have Raphael. He is the coolest because he could hold his size like that. Okay, now let's move on to my big score. Big score, big score. Let me just go move the game's all over here. But before that, I did a taste try video on this, and uh, if you want to hear my thoughts on it, uh, it was actually pretty good. If you like, like, sweet tarts or whatever, lemon flavor, go with it. And this entire stack of PS2 games. I have a lot of PS2 games already, but I went on it because GameStop had a sale. And, uh, and, uh, I got this entire stack for $20. Really good deal, and, like, six of these games were, like, free, so... Yeah, if I didn't have the sale, I would probably pay like $40, which I would not pay. So yeah, $20. None of these games are complete, and, and one game only has the official uh, case. So like, most of these games are in like regular DVD cases. SOCOM 2, and uh, all of these games work, so I'm happy about that. SOCOM 2. I don't really like it, to be honest. I thought it was going to be good, but really. And yeah, they're all in DVD cases, and uh, the guys at the warehouse, I guess, were too lazy to go and put it inside of the case, so they just stuck that in here, so whatever. SSX, and uh, it's actually really fun. And this is the only game with the official PlayStation case, so yeah. Greatest Hits, whatever, don't really care. Wolverine. X, Wolverine, Revenge, whatever. It's a little fun beat em up, I guess. Haven't gone far into the game, but still. Prince of Persia. Sands of Time. I don't know why they put that cover in, but this is Prince of Persia Sands of Time. And uh, I was meaning to go and get the HD collection, but uh, of course, money's low, so. Yeah, I got this for like two, three dollars, I guess, and uh, yeah. Really fun platformer, actually. Same thing with this game. This is actually an underrated platformer, and it is Tech the Great Juju Challenge. This cartoon was very weird, quirky, and uh, I liked one episode out of the entire series. Because I haven't watched most of it, but it's a little fun uh, show, and uh, this is actually a pretty fun platformer, to be honest. GoldenEye Rogue, Rogue Agent. Uh... Yeah, none of these games are complete, but whatever. And, uh, yeah, it's a first-person shooter. It's kind of fun, I guess. Devil May Cry. And I am actually stuck. I'm actually stuck in the beginning. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. But I guess I could just go and search up a Let's Play and see what I'm supposed to do. And I will do that later. Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles. And, uh, I played a little bit of this. It's actually really fun. I've been meaning to get this for a while, but now that GameStop had the sale and I saw this on there, I was like, I need to get it. So, yeah. And with the first tech game, I actually... Uh, I also got the sequel, Tech 2, The Staff of Dreams. Jesus Christ. This is actually a lot better than the first one, as sequels are supposed to do, and, uh, yeah. Catwoman, and the main reason I got it, it was because someone rated it 10 out of 10 on the GameStop website, and IGN rated it a 2 out of 10. Uh, the game's actually pretty fun in my opinion. I don't know why they rated it so low, but I guess it's a uh, it's game. It's uh, IGN, and uh, this one is Splinter Cell, Paranoia, Tomorrow, and uh... This game is really dark. Like, the lighting, like, it's really dark. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. I am telling the truth. I can't see a thing. Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, the first one. And this is a really, really, really awesome platformer and somewhat underrated. And uh, someone reviewed this, and I'll put a link in an annotation to that review. But yeah, this is a really, really cool platformer. If you like Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, check that game out. It's really fun. They have three in the series, and that's all. I'm hoping that they make an HD collection. That probably won't happen because uh, it's another forgotten PS2 mascot, I guess. And uh, it's kind of sad, but whatever. 
So yeah, uh, that is my entire stuff I got video, and uh, everything's like spread it around. Like you have stuff over here, you have stuff over there. Like oh my god, oh my god. So uh, yep, I will do a no buying challenge, I guess, uh, for next month. And uh, thank you for watching another video. And uh, yeah, links in the description, Facebook, Twitter, and these uh, unboxing videos and various things that I did in here. So yeah, see you guys next time.